to Greeky Sanjay. Today I'll provide a quick step by step walkthrough of the detailed book my show notes that I have written. Let's start. Step 1. Create a Spring Boot project. So first we will go to on this website and we will create a Spring Boot project which I have written here in the detail you can see. And whenever we are creating a Spring Boot project we will add some dependency there like Spring Web. This is the important because we are creating for the web. So this uh, dependency is very much required if you are not installing other dependency and if you are only installing this dependency that is more than enough to start your project. As second Spring Boot Dev Tool. This Dev Tool is provided the development time tool that improve the development experience and feature of automatic application restart and whenever we are doing rerun the application. So it will help on that. Lombak as we know for the getter and setter we can use this Lombak library and the spring configuration processor configuration processor help with the generating metadata file make configuration property like uh, whenever uh, we are doing any configuration and whenever we are creating a jar file that time it will very helpful and spring data jpa as we know jpa is used for persistent data so whenever we are creating a repository we will extend this jpa to uh, create the tables uh, okay and the mysql driver to connect the mysql driver we will install this uh, dependency after configuring and adding dependency we just create on generate button this you can see the screenshot okay and the screenshot uh, you can see all the configuration required i <coughs> you can see in the green <coughs> so okay, you can start with this step 2 importing the project we created from the spring initializers after downloading unzip file intellij and locate the pom file what is the pom file pom file is kept your all dependency and whenever you are opening this file it will it will install all the dependency whatever is required and configure your project <coughs> as you can see here so uh, as you can see here I have given complete detailed project information dependencies what is build configuration and repositories profile properties all I have written here in detail you can see that what POM file will do for you okay now next we will see importing the project from the Spring Boot Initializer so whenever we importing the project using the POM file next after importing we start to creating a models okay so first we will create a base model what is the base model base model is the model which is has the like your IDs okay so <coughs> whatever we have uh, like uh, you can see reusable fields we will keep it here and we will extend it to another models and whenever we create this we will create all other models so as you can see here I have given complete detail with all annotation why we are using this all notation there as you can see getter setter data to string and one by one we can start creating a other models so as you can see here simple entity class repository interface and next step I have created a next step next step okay so next step will tell you what you have to do the next okay so as you can see I have given all the models here which you can extend and create starting models like seat okay so in the seat this much is uh, field is there which you have to create okay this is the enum and enum type is this okay now <coughs> next whenever we created a base model we will create all remaining model and enums okay we'll go to next step adding enumerator enum type okay so whenever we are creating a enum that time we have to uh, keep in mind we have to uh, write annotation enumerator type okay and whenever we are creating this model so we have to follow this first we have to use the getter which is coming from the lumbar then the setter and we have to use the entity notation 
so what entity notation will do entity notation will tell spring boot this <coughs> is uh, this class is as a table okay so whenever we will uh, run our project it will create this class as a table and you can see name equals to show underscore bms sometimes what happen we are creating like users okay or here this is show table so this is the reserve keyword so that uh, reserve keyword to protect this we can give the any name like this so whenever we are creating all model we have to keep in mind we have to at least uh, use these three notation getter setter and entity and the next whenever we are creating a enums in the enums we have to add the annotation as you can see okay that annotation is like emulator enum type ordinal what is this ordinal ordinal means uh, there are two type of enums one is a string what is the ordinal ordinal whenever you are assigning it to so by default it will give the value to it one two three four like that okay so that enum instead of the enum string it will save the id of that enum that's why it is required to uh, define the annotation so <coughs> i have written all in very detail you can see here like this okay so step by step slowly slowly you can create it another i just want to uh, add this thing whenever we are creating uh, any like if you can see here one to many and many to one okay so what we are creating here we are creating here just a relationship okay mapping relation in booking and payment entities like that okay so we are mapping the table using the one to many and many to one annotation so whenever we have created all the models then and we have defined all the enumerators then we have to come again and we have to think like what relation in between two classes so whenever we like uh, we can see in the payment class okay and uh, booking class it has uh, some relation okay so that relation we have to predict here one to many many to one and one to one so one to one relation means like you can put a id either side either first side either second side and one to many always we will keep whenever we have a one to many so we will keep our uh, one side in the many okay so same you have to write it down here it will automatically create a relation for your tables and if we create it uh, like uh, the if we required a class two times okay so it will create a two times the table to tell uh, the spring boot don't uh, create a two times we can do like this so one place we just kept that one too many and here i return here one too many and there we return many to one okay and we tell here spring boot mapped y equals to region underscore id okay so we are saying we already mapped it so you don't create another table for this so this was the important that's why i kept some time to be show it here okay so after doing you can see here all i have written so see so see type that are okay so what type of relation you have to give next establish a connection to the database so this is very important to create a, a connection for this first you have to create a database to create a database you have to open the d viewer and in the d viewer you can see here you will get this localhost so either you can do with the d viewer either you can do with the workbench both is a client you use with the uh, mysql okay so sometimes whenever you do not have this local and you are starting with this you can create like a new create a new connection and create on the connection whenever you are creating a connection select the mysql then do the next and here you have to put the url so this url is this url we will use in configuration for our spring boot project okay and by default this is localhost and <coughs> here we will keep like root and whatever password you have mentioned there 
we have to write it down here okay so it is required to add the password for the ubuntu because ubuntu will not provide you blank password so that password we will write it down here and we will make it to uh, click just finish after click finish this connection is established with the mysql it is required to be connect with the mysql because we can use this client with multiple different like sqls so we are using with mysql that's why as you can see so here database is created now the right click and create new database after creating a new database okay what you have to do you have to take url from here and username and password and dv name and we have to go back in our file okay and we have to put there like see here okay so i written all the details step where we have to write what is the name of the file everything okay so just like you can see here spring so first is the url which is copies from there and this is the uh, database name which we have created this is the uh, username and here we have to put the password and this is the jpso sql false we can keep it like this and this is the hibernate ddl auto update so there is a one more value create and update so create every time first it will drop all the tables and recreate it and if we will keep update so whenever we are making any changes in our class it will automatically update the our tables okay now the sixth step is the code flow steps in a java project after model creation whenever we created a model that time we have to start creating our uh, code for that i have written here as you can see the flow okay what is the flow of code so whenever we are starting any new feature that time we uh, we have to create control okay first we create a control so control package we will create controller okay and there we will start with the like book uh, booking controller okay after creating this we will create one method inside of the controller in that controller i will show you the flow in some time okay after creating a controller we will create one method there booking movie book movie okay and inside of that we will call one more method which is coming from the service file okay for that we required two dto's first is the response and second is the request so connection is this first we will write cre create a controller then next we will create a service file and whatever created uh, whatever method we will create in service file that we will call in the controller okay and we will pass the request dto from controller to the service uh, method and there we will do the process whatever is required and we will return the response from the service which will taken by the controller and controller return to the client so this is the flow which we have to follow so for that we will create a dto and booking services and then whenever we are on the services that time we have to save the data somewhere for that we will create a repositories okay with the help of repositories we save data in database and get the data from the database and after that it will return to the controller so this is the flow which we have to follow okay as you can see booking controller first we have to create a booking controller and whatever notation we are using like race controller auto wire that i have explained here in detail okay why auto wire is created because whenever we need a, a dependency whenever we are creating a object that time we return their auto wire auto wire what it will do it will tells the spring boot inject this dependency on runtime so that time it will uh, just inject this uh, booking service at a runtime so that's why this annotation is rest we will use whenever we are creating a controller so rest controller annotation is required to write whenever we are creating a service that time the uh, service annotation is required whenever we are creating a, a models that time add entity is required so we have to keep in mind this all notation and whenever we are doing multiple times that time it will automatically uh, we can memorize it 
you also can see here getter setter and all are con uh, constructor okay so as you can see in the detail complete detail i have written this uh, notes here all the steps i have written whenever we are creating a booking services book movie so what step you have to follow first you have to follow the step you have to take the user id okay so you can see fetch user detail by user id so what you have to get do the for to take the user id so i have written the step by step code here that you can follow along with this okay the next step what you have to do the next step what you have to do so we are following this all step first we will show seat object for provided seat id then uh, sorry we will start from here fetch user detail for given user id then retrieve show detail of the specific show world whenever we are doing this show id that time what we have to do we have to start the transaction we have to end the transaction in between start and end transaction whatever steps we have to follow i have written here and as uh, whenever you are going down you will see the same headings there also so it is easy to connect with you next you can see create the corresponding booking object with the status payment pending and return the response redirect to confirmation page so here i have written all the steps which you can see in all annotation i written in very detail please see these notes create your project and comment me on video how it is is there anything which i i have to correct whenever i am creating this type of notes and it is very grateful if you any any one of them uh, just create this project using this notes and voluntary create a one video and share to me i will share that video on my youtube and it will help to me together we can learn and we can grow thank you to all of you for subscription i request whatever doubts you have please write in the comment because you subscribe my channel i'm very happy you are giving me uh, supporting me so now the next step uh, if you start interacting with my video as a comment that is very helpful and give me the fuel to create more video here is my contact detail if you have any doubt if you ask if you want to ask anything you can ask me normally my free timing is at 15 pm to 9 pm that is my walking time that time you can call me on any day thank you very much bye